What did that mean for you to be voted team captain? Uh, it meant a lot, you know. Uh, when it first happened, I said, you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to be uh, voted team captain. I think Brett Capasi is saying, you know, we have a lot of guys, Jacob Judd, uh, Lance, you know, we got Xavier, guys all around this room and, and on the team that, that want to be leaders and that work to be leaders. So uh, I was very honored and very humbled. How did a difference a year makes? I mean, you're coming in last season not knowing now you're the starter. What's that yep. been like, that whole transition? Uh, it's been a lot of fun just going through it with the guys, growing with the guys. Uh, you know, obviously we had that great run that everyone talks about last year, and uh, the bond that we built was was something very special. So, going through, you know, a difference a year makes. You know, it's just a team getting much closer. How has the playoff run motivated you guys this year? Uh, it's motivated us a lot. I think more so. You know, we have a team that, uh, you know, we've been win been winners for a long time since we were in high school. A lot of guys come from very winning programs, so. Uh, you know, some guys that come in here like a Lance uh, when the when the program was low, uh, it was good for them to get back on that winning streak. And now, you know, we talk a lot about how seven and six isn't where we want to be anymore. You know, we want to take that to a new level, as a lot of the guys were saying. So uh, it was motivation, and, and we're looking forward to building upon that. Has the way you prepare changed now that you're a starter? Is it just the same you used to say? It's the same. Mm -hmm. It's It's been the same, I think, you know, uh, whether you're – Fourth string, or you're starting, and that's something we have on this team is top to bottom. We got guys that that treat it like a game every day, and that's very important uh, to to build on that competitive nature that we have every day. So, I've I've been treating it the exact same. I'm blessed for you to have the best wide receiver in school history. Very outside, extremely, <laughs> very lucky, very fortunate. What's he do well that that makes your job easier? Uh, I mean everything. He's he's a great leader, and that's something that uh, people don't notice as much. And he works harder than anyone I know. So. Uh, that, that's why he is who he is. Um, and again, it makes it very easy for me and other quarterbacks to, to do what we do. Um, and top to bottom, we have a great receiving core that he, he, uh, he leads very well. So. you got some new faces on the offense, tight end behind you in the back. Yes, sir. How explosive can this offense be? Very. You know, we can be as explosive as uh, we want to be. You know, we, uh, we got weapons all around. As you know, we were talking about, you know, we got new incoming guys that have really um, – from day one, just fit in, fit in real well, and, and that I think is a huge, uh, you know, just a test to our to our leadership, seniors and, and guys that are upperclassmen. They just welcome them in, and we're ready to get rolling. So, how much more comfortable are you right now as as quarterback compared to where you were for your first start? I mean, mm -hmm. how much how much farther along do you think you are? Um, I feel more comfortable. I, f I feel, you know, with the offense, you know, in the spring we we took uh, a lot of steps in the spring. You know, when it's when it's brand new, it's it's sloppy and whatnot, and by the end of spring, you know, we were all very comfortable, and then we had the whole summer. Uh, so I feel comfortable, and, and it, again, it's easy when you got some of your best friends and your brothers around you that just are all going through the same thing, and, you know, we all got each other's backs, so it's been a lot of fun. How, how different is the offense? It's much different. Yeah. You know, I think they can all attest to that. It's it's a different different offense, so, uh, but I think we mold into it really well, so it'll be a lot of fun. There's been a lot of chatter today about the point system in yeah. practice. What goes through your head at the end of the day when the defense wins? You know, that darn shoot. Something <laughs> not <laughs> something different than that, but <laughs> can't say it. I think I pounded the table once or twice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's funny because one of our transfer quarterbacks, he says to the left of me, and he counts uh, the offense's total, and I count the defense. And we're just kind of chirping back and forth. You know, what's the score? What's the score? So it is extremely competitive. and. You know, if you didn't hear it from them, you know, it, it's the truth. So it's, uh, it makes everyone better. It's a lot of, it's a great, great, great run for us. Is there anything in the, the new offensive changes that came with Coach Fisher that has elevated something in your game that you thought maybe it, that you couldn't elevate any further than what it already has? Um, I mean, you know, he's, he's a, I call it like a quarterback guru. He's, he's very, uh, he knows what he's doing. And our whole offensive staff does. So I know for me personally, I feel like I always have three coaches I can kind of go to. You know, Coach Elliott, the quarterback coach, uh, Doug Malone, the offense coordinator, and then Coach Fisher. You know, he's, you know, like I said, kind of that quarterback guru. He's been along for a long time. So I think he's helped all of us quarterbacks really take our game to the next level as a whole and offenses up to the next level. Just all that knowledge in one room is, is really beneficial to a group.